Right, thought I'd do a bit, a uh, quick video on how to do the glow plugs on a VW T6 in a cooler out of the way, bracket, a bit of fuel rail, and loads of cooling pipes to disconnect. I'm going to remove the unit of cooler pipes on there. It might be easier to disconnect down there and up there. Next is a couple of M10 multi splines. If you'll focus. It looks like there should have been one down there, but maybe it looks like it's missing. So there's definitely two here. Also, there's a few plugs to undo. This one, one there, and the other one was um, just over here. Just pull the loom up out of the way. Then you've got to get these clips off. There's another one over there. Next, I removed the coolant pipes and I had a cap for here. Just used a torn off bit of glove um, and a cable tie. That's loose. Let's see if we can get this one off. Might need two hands. There it is, that's loose. Let's check there's nothing else to catch in. And we'll remove that. Once that's out of the way, we're left with this little frame that sits, uh, the, in, in, in the cooler sits on. Then we'll be able to get to the fuel rail. And then underneath that should be the glow plugs. Again, you've got uh, four M10 multi spines or triple squared, some some people call them, and then you've got a couple of Torx 30s just there and there, holding these um, fuel lines on. Now, all four bolts are not the same size, three are the same size as the shorter one. The shorter one goes down here, so just remember that when you're putting it back, but I'm sure you probably can't get it wrong. Clip off, clip off, then that's ready to come off. There is actually a little hidden Torx 30 just there. It's about to come behind it with a little extension. Again, there's another little hidden one. So, just on this bracket here, where I'm shining the light on. on the other. Right, now that's out of the way, you can just about see them. There's one there, there. You could probably um get them out without moving the fuel rail but the last one would be quite tricky it's quite tight and then the third one i believe is the one which got a, a pressure sensor on it so to get the rail out it's not too bad bolt there bolt there a few of these unions unplug sensors each side and that should whip out just to make things easier i've moved um, all the plugs and the wiring for the injectors out of the way so I can get to these unions without anything in the way. So there we are. That's the fuel rail out. Exposes the uh, plugs. There's also a little fuel um, hose just on there that goes into the rail. I've just put one of the bolts that holds the rail in into there and put the clip back on, stop the fuel going everywhere. Now, if you've got access to an airline, just blow out all the holes. Um, just because there's a lot of crap that builds up. And you don't want that falling in to the engine. Um, or if you haven't got an airline, what you could do is get a straw, a long straw, and just uh, blow down it as much as you can or another alternative they do do compressed air in a can so um, yeah just want to get all the crap and debris out 
as much as you can. A tip when undoing the glow plugs. Undo it a little bit. And it starts feeling tight. Do it back up again. And then undo it. And then you start to feel it gets looser and looser as you go back and forth. Eventually, if you're patient enough, you can get them up in one piece. So this is all four of them out in one piece. Um, only number one was a bit tricky, a bit tight getting out. The rest come out, no problem at all. You can see this uh, pressure sensor one compared to the other uh, three. It's got no corrosion build up. Maybe just because it's got a better seal. I don't know why they all don't come like that. It would make life a lot easier. So they're out, new ones are in. Just gotta put it all back together now. Um, I'm sure you don't need a video of it. It's just the same, but in reverse order. And just thought I'd show the end. Um, cylinder four glow plug circuit, passive sporadic. It was active uh, before I put the plug in. So haven't even started it yet and uh, the uh, trouble code has changed.